Anyways, so, um, we're going to... Equip the Golden Halberd again, because that's still gonna do more damage than the other one. Uh, so, the difference between... The difference between a Ghoul Halberd, like this, a magical, mighty, colossal, holy weapon. Actually, I don't think this is a colossal weapon, but, like... There are specific weapons that you can upgrade with uh, somber smithing stones, and then there are weapons you can upgrade with normal smithing stones. Normal smithing stones can upgrade all the way to plus 25, so level 25. They, they have 25 upgrades worth of capacity. The um, special items like these, which are good off the bat, so every upgrade makes them significantly better, but their max cap is not as high as the other ones, these can upgrade up to 10 levels with somber smithing stones. So right now I'm on, I'm level 4 of 10 on the upgrades, which is pretty high for my level. Like, obviously I'm a little bit overpowered, as you saw from that uh, cavalry knight battle. Like, it was probably, what, 2 or 3 um, heavy attacks there, and he was down to 30% health already, which is... <laughs> like, the game is not supposed to be that easy. Um, but to be fair, I did go back, like, obviously, I've, I've killed, uh, Marjit and, um, or Margit, I don't know, I don't know how you say the name, um, every, every walkthrough I've seen, people call it something different, so, all I know is it's the, uh, giant man with the, uh, the, the tentacle arm, he kind of looks like the Hulk, but Gandalf edition, you know, with a staff, <laughs> um, so anyways, enough uh, chatting. We'll um, go back to this crater pocket and we shall run all the way along the beach and have a nice little uh, little look out on the ocean. Think about our time in Elden Ring and what, uh, what it means to us. You know? And then uh, and then kill some shit. It's like, what else are we going to do in this game? <laughs> That's the point. Oh yeah, apparently there's a boss here I could um, battle. I don't know if I feel like it. I don't feel like it. Let's not do that. All right. Um, let's pull out the lantern because it is uh, a little late in the day here. All right. And if we go down this passage, we should bring ourselves to some sort of catacombs or a jellyfish. There we go, there's the door. And... Uh, give me one sec, let me flip the webcam. I just realized it looks like I'm looking the opposite direction. I don't know how I feel about this angle. <laughs> Whatever. We'll say it's good enough. Anyways, uh, we can touch this grace. Find that. The long lost grace. Oh, hello. Hey, uh, I have a surprise for you. It's called um, Golden Halberd Plus Four. It's actually um, better than Santa Claus, as you can see. I hope you like it. All right, there's more than that. Oof, the damage is too high. See what I mean? Like, and then on top of that, there's this like golden bow buff, where I just do like insane amounts of holy damage on top of whatever else I'm doing. And like, see, these encounters aren't even a problem now. Like, I just kinda... peruse my way through dungeons. Oh, hello. Actually, spoke too soon. Ah, I thought I caught that second guy. And on top of that, like, even, even with the halberds, like, uh slow reaction time like it's it's still oh my god 
Hi, sir. Have you come to join the party? It's a slumber party. Alright, um... Yeah, let's do some choo-choos. Woohoo! Acquire materials. Ooh, glove wart. So, um, glove wart actually allows us to upgrade our ashes, which are our, um... Sorry, not our ashes. Our, uh, our summons. So, um, the skeletal militia guys that I've been using previously in the in the playthrough, they uh, they can actually be upgraded, so their health and stuff can be increased with this. Um, um, if you talk to a lady in the round table, and then you go talk to the smithing um, armaments guy, and go back and forth, they have like this little dialogue conversation where they allow you to um, uh, unlock her as a vendor, where you can trade in the glove ward for increasing the damage and health of your summons which for the skeletal militia guys are awesome because they respawn as long as their bones aren't destroyed anyways so they're an infinite spawning summon and now they have more health and do more damage so uh the, like there are options in this game to make it absolutely potato easy uh you just have to look for them um, okay, so we gotta look for a, a, a lever somewhere over here in the dungeon. Uh, give me one second here. Alright, I'm just going to do a little combat, and then I'll do an audio test to see how bad it is. Um, or how much, like, if my- Oh! Okay. Ow. Did not expect that to happen. Um. <laughs> ah, that gave me such, um... Mission Impossible 1 vibes? Holy. Remember when that guy gets killed in the elevator? Like, he's on top of the elevator when they're doing the heist at the start, and uh, someone hijacks the elevator and, and sends it into the top, and they're like, I don't know why. Like, why would you put spikes at the top of an elevator? It makes no sense to me. Like, it would make more sense if it was just, like, a flat grate or something that you were, like, smushed against, but, like, there were spikes, and you got impaled. It was just it was a horrible scene. And after that, I, uh... Knew I never wanted to be a um, elevator maintenance repairman, that's for sure. Uh, they don't get paid enough. That's that's my opinion. I think uh, getting getting uh, getting cut in half by an elevator can happen way too easily, especially if you are operating on broken down and malfunctioning elevators all day. You know, it becomes dangerous. All right, so. Is there a, uh, there's nothing under there. Is this a secret passage? So recently I found out that there's, there are actually secret walls in this game. Uh, much to my surprise. I thought all those, uh, comments were trolling me, but they weren't. Surprisingly. Um. And interestingly... This is not one. <laughs> I don't know where to go. I don't- I also don't know if this floor will- Oh, can you not, bro? Really? So you're really telling me I have to run out of here? I- I- I don't know why. I get the feeling that there is another entrance in here somewhere. But, uh... Oh, Jesus, that was close. See what I talk about? It's a it's a it's a small area that uh, can start to become claustrophobic very fast, uh, especially with the uh, you know sandwich method. All right, nothing in here.
And that's the trap room. Nothing in here either. Starting to get the feeling there might be something in that room. Yeah, and then here's the boss entrance, which needs to be opened with a lever. So there has to be a way for us to... It's either from this room, which I do not believe it is, because this does not look like a fake wall to me. Or the trap room. And to be honest, I don't know how I would... Oh. Oh, is it underneath? Oh, that's a really good idea. I didn't even think about that. But um, it does not appear so. Yeah, no. Even with my lantern, I can barely see anything. Is there something over in that corner? That's the one thing I can't tell. Nope. Maybe this is the fake wall. Nope. Alright, let's uh, go this way before I have too much blood loss. I wonder if I have to swing at the fake wall to break it. I don't really remember. I Most of the fake walls I, uh... No. Is it like a blood sacrifice? Like, if I get hit enough times, do I... Or is there a way to... Is there a section that's not spikes? on the roof I am confusion give me one second guys Mother, you can go underneath. I knew it. All right. No. <laughs> oh, it's such a fucking tight. I don't know. I don't know um, how I made it the other time so uh, flawlessly. That was uh, honestly elegant compared to what I'm doing now. Okay. Sprint, jump, sprint, roll. Beneath. Excellent. All right, we've gone to the next section. Honestly, I think I just need to send it a little more. Like falling off a cliffs, although it may kill me. Ooh, ghost glove ward. This is like the special stuff that gives you really good upgrades. All right, uh, let's do golden vow. These guys look like they uh, may or may not be undead. Who knows? Wow, these guys have a lot of health. Rattling hate, please help. Do they just keep spawning or? This would be a nice little farm spot if it gave more, but. Fortunately, it does not. Root resin. Alright. Oh, it's a whole line of them. Hi, guys. Welcome to the party. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I, I may or may not um, believe that this is the most overpowered weapon in the game. 